this video is going to teach you how to do problems using Avogadro's law. And Avogadro's law, we'll look at this one again based on relationships between the variables rather than equations. Um, there is another video you can watch if you prefer equations. Avogadro's law, the variables that are changing are the amount of gas, N, and the volume, V. That's what's changing. That means you have to hold the temperature and the pressure constant. Now the equation that you would use would be V divided by N is equal to a constant K. That's lots like what you saw with Charles' law and Gay-Lussac's law, but what this means is that it's a direct relationship. If the amount of gas increases, then the volume should increase. And this is pretty easily explained. If you think of yourself blowing up a balloon, with each breath that you put into the balloon, you're going to put more air in the balloon, and it's going to get bigger. So as you add the amount of gas, the volume gets bigger. Now we're going to do the same kind of problem we've done before. We're going to set up our relationships. If you look, we have two samples of nitrogen gas. Sample one contains 1 1.5 moles and has a volume of 36.7 liters. It does give us a temperature and a pressure, but if you read the second sentence, sample two has a different volume, 16.5 liters, but it's at the same temperature and pressure as the first sample is. So we're really only comparing N, the number of moles, and V. So fill in what you know. In the first sample, we have 1.5 moles of N2, and it has a volume of 36.7 liters. The second sample we know has a volume of 16.5 liters, and we want to know how many moles that would be. Now, if you look at the volume, it's going from 36.7 down to 16.5. So, if the volume is decreasing, according to our relationship, the number of moles should decrease as well. So we want to multiply this by a fraction that will make our number go down. So we're going to take 16.5, the small number, and put that over the big number, 36.7. And when you do the math and you're careful with your number of significant digits, you should get an answer of 0.67 moles of the N2 in the second sample. So there's your answer. Below, you're going to find your learning check. You could work it out on paper first and then put your answer into Moodle. Good luck.